Welcome to Matters of the Heart Podcast with Rashonda, Thursday's Tip Edition. Do you need some advice? Need some ideas to improve a specific situation, whether in the world around you or just an individual fix? Well, that's what Thursday's tip is all about. I don't just tell you how to do it, but I'll always offer a couple of tips on things you can do to succeed in the process. Thursday's tips are geared towards making us feel empowered, starting from the inside out. So what are you waiting for? Come on in and let me share a couple of tips with you. Hello, everyone. This is the Matters of the Heart podcast. If you're hearing my voice right now, I don't even need to say it. I don't even need to say it. You already know what time it is. It is Thursday, but it's not just any Thursday. It's a Thursday pop-up tip episode. Yes. So if you've listened to the last couple of podcasts, you know, I said I was going to be coming in uh, a little sooner than the second Thursdays of the month and just give you some pop-up tips. You know, it's spring. Okay. So I'm springing these tips on you. All right. Get it. All right. So (laughs) welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen, on this podcast, I talk about inspiration, motivation, wellness, and mind peacefulness. I share my experiences, advice, and knowledge to help improve our lives and learn more. Hey, I'm learning every day, just like you. (laughs) The content is always 100% positive and your cheerful host on this beautiful journey. Well, that would be me, Rashonda. Again, welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time listening to the podcast, hello, how are you doing? It's nice to meet you. Thank you so much for taking our time to listen to this podcast today. I really appreciate it. You're so sweet. Listen, today's topic is spring has sprung and so has your footwear. This is the time of season to dust, clean, and put up fresh colors. It's also the season in which everyone wants to go outside to fish or exercise. And guess who the primary partner will be in getting all that done? our feet. So today, let's talk about our feet. I'm going to share a little story regarding my footwear and my feet and mention a couple of things on how you can whip yours into shape this spring. Today's tips aren't a list of one, two, or threes, but more of a suggestion. So let's spring forward, shall we? Stay tuned. It's been said that diamonds are a girl's best friend. And while that statement may be true for some women, and although the diamond just happens to be my birthstone, my diamonds were stilettos and platform heels. Yes, you couldn't get me not to wear a pair of four to six inch heels every day to work. I wore them so much, they actually became my staple. People knew me from the many different styles of heels I wore, thanks to Just Fab. And no, this is not a sponsored episode, but I had a membership with Just Fab at the time. So Just Fab, just in case you don't know what that is, or maybe you were once a member, um... I became a member with Just Fab because they would give you shoes or offer you shoes every month. What you would do is you would create a membership and then they would show you all these pictures of different styles of shoes and stuff that they think that you would like. And so once you click on the shoes that you think you will like, then every month what they do is they would present uh, some new shoes to you and you had an option to pay or to uh, or to skip the month. So if you didn't skip the month, then what they would do is they would take $39 out of your account. So every time you don't skip the month, that's $39 coming out of your account every single month. Sometimes I would go in and uh, skip the month so they wouldn't take the money out. So to say I was addicted would be an understatement. I was so addicted, I had well over 70 pairs of shoes. And yes, they were all heels, all four to six inch heels, which were my diamonds. People often wondered how I would walk in those pointy killers every single day. And I would just say, oh, it's easy. But they didn't know that some of those shoes were easy because they were on platforms, which brought a little comfort to my feet. Another thing I hid from them was that 
Some of those heels that I wore were really harsh on my feet and toes. However, I'd endure the pain because I didn't want anyone to see me without them. After all, I had made a reputation for myself and sometimes reputations are tough to break and being on the wrong side of one is very painful. My diamond run came to a screeching halt when I moved to another job. I had high hopes of continuing to wear my glorious heels, but this job was different. I was no longer walking a short distance from one office to the next anymore. This job caused me to walk up hills and sometimes very long distances and not just from one office to the next. Listen, I wore a couple of five inches uh, to work one day and honestly, I tore them slam up because I had to walk from one place and it seemed like it took me 80 miles to get to another place. My feet was tired, my shoes was tore up and messed up. So it wasn't long after that that um, I had to move to a new group of shoes that I thought I'd die if I ever was caught in. And if you guess flats, you're so right. So after months of being on that job, I discovered, you know, flats and I, I had a love for them. I had a love for them. I never thought I would ever say that, but God really knew best in transferring me out of that job, which also moved me out of those heels. So praise the Lord, everybody. Um, however, a couple of years ago, I tried, you know, because I would keep some pairs of shoes in my in my closet that um because after being on that job for a while i stopped wearing heels and so you know if you stop wearing something for a long time trying to put a pair on it really really um hurt my feet so i had these really cute pair and i was trying to show someone um the heels that i had and it was an epic fail. <laughs> so I called myself taking a picture uh, of my feet in those heels. And while my feet looked as if they were being premiered for the red carpet, my top half was holding on to my shower curtain for dear life <laughs> and praying it wouldn't fail me. If you could have seen the look on my face, it definitely didn't match the bottom picture. But that is now my present situation as I can't stand um, up in a pair of heels without screaming. I can put them on as long as I'm sitting down and they look so pretty, but trying to stand up in them and walk in them. Yeah, not good. <laughs> So here's my question to you. Is it time for you to change up your shoes? Are you wearing shoes that are too small? Now that spring is officially here, although the weather seems to be playing peekaboo with those details, it's the time of year when the weather is warmer and you know what that means? It's time to get out of the house and enjoy this beautiful weather by either exercising or just enjoying a day out with your family and friends. And our feet and the shoes we choose will play a big role in both of those activities. Too tight shoes can cause issues with your feet and posture. High heels place your feet in a very high and uncomfortable position. It stretches your arch entirely out of shape. If I had not transitioned from that job, it's no telling today what type of feet, ankle, knee, or back issues I would have had. Listen, your feet can tell you a lot about your health and most often will show you signs of concern before your other body parts get the message. It's also imperative that you have the correct exercise shoes as well. I have to be honest, when it came to working out, I thought all athletic shoes were created equal. I didn't think it mattered what you wore as long as it wasn't heels during a workout. Sorry, everyone can't be like Mariah Carey. But boy, was I wrong. I remember taking a jazzercise class some years ago, and I always wondered why I felt fatigued and so tired during the workout. At the time, I didn't think anything of it. I chalked it up to just being out of shape. However, I learned two things. One, I was indeed out of shape. <laughs> two, 
My workout shoes were the enemy in disguise. So the lady that ran the class, her name was Miss Roxanne, uh, she began telling us about these particular shoes that would help us work out better. The shoes looked like much of nothing, but she promised they would not only support our feet, but we'd feel better during the workout. So $60 later, which I thought was a lot of money for a pair of ugly shoes, I was hooked. Those shoes were on point. It was then that I realized that exercise shoes were not created equal and it's not just a hype. So I actually just bought myself another pair of exercise shoes. The ones I had before were about three years old, so it was definitely time for another pair. So another tip I'd like to offer is to change out your exercise shoes often. It's good to buy a fresh pair, I would say once every year or two. Now I may have some experts that might disagree with that. However, if they're too old, they won't provide you the support they once did when you first bought them. So you really do need special shoes to exercise for your feet's sake and your health's sake. So to sum up this post, spring is here and that means it's time to clean up the old and bring in the new, including a good pair of shoes. Your feet are essential. You need them and they need you to take care of them so they can take care of you. While we're now springing forward, make sure taking care of your most prized possession can move along with you. So for more information on foot care and what proper shoes to get for exercising, check out some of the links that I put in the description box. Listen, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the pop-up Thursday tips. Next week, we'll be back on schedule with the last tip in this pop-up series. We're springing forward and taking care of our physical and mental health. So until next time, get those feet out of the pasture or those old shoes get some new ones, and let's move. I'll talk to you later. That was it for today's episode. I hope you were inspired and feel positive vibes whenever you spend some time with me, Rashonda, and the Matters of the Heart podcast. Thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to join me next time as we dive deeper into our spiritual, mental, and physical journey. You can follow Matters of the Heart podcast on Facebook to stay tuned for what's coming next. Feel free to share the episodes while you're here. Also, stay with me by subscribing wherever your favorite music and podcast stations reside. And as always, watch your heart because its actions will follow. Thank you for listening.